Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we'll be going through an exam guide breakdown of the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamental Certification. So the first thing you want to do is to go to this link here, learn.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash certifications slash exams slash PL900. And once you're here, you want to navigate to this link called PL900 Study Guide. This will open an organized study guide that Microsoft has prepared for us for the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals exam. We've already covered a general overview on what the exam is, who the exam is for, and a brief overview on the topics. But we'll need to cover the exam breakdown in a bit more detail. This is the section we're looking for, Skills Measured, which have been updated recently as of making this course. So we already covered the six main domains. Describe the business value of Microsoft Power Platform. Identify foundational components of Microsoft Power Platform. Demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI. Demonstrate the capabilities of Power Apps. Demonstrate the capabilities of Power Automate. And describe complementary Microsoft Power Platform solutions. So I won't be going through each point on the entire list because it's quite long, but I'll point out the ones that I think you should definitely pay attention to. Starting off with the business value of Microsoft Power Platform services, You'll definitely need to know all of these services listed here and their value and benefits. For the extending business solutions by using Microsoft Power Platform, you'll just need to know the general overview of these services like Dynamics 365 and Microsoft 365 apps. But describing how Microsoft Power Platform apps work together would be the most important one. For the Power Platform administration and governance, the most important one here would be the Power Platform security model and environments. For the Microsoft Dataverse, it's an important one to know things such as tables, columns, and relationships in Microsoft Dataverse. You will probably see business logic and data flows in Microsoft Dataverse on the exam, as well as the components of a connector. For Power BI, the two important ones here are Power BI Desktop and Power BI Service, and you'll need to know dashboards, workspaces, reports, and paginated reports. You'll also need to know how to build a basic dashboard by using Power BI, for Power Apps, all the sections here, you'll need to know well which are the differences between Canvas apps and model-driven apps, and their use cases and capabilities for both. You'll also need to know how to build a basic Canvas and model-driven app. For the Power Automate section, the most important ones would be Cloud and Desktop Flow, and how Power Automate Cloud Flows use connector triggers and actions. Actions for Power Automate Desktop Flows is another important one, and you'll need to know how to build a basic Power Automate Flow. For the complementary Microsoft Power Platform solutions, you'll mostly just need a general overview of Power Virtual Agents and the purpose of topics, entities, and actions. You'll also need to know the use cases and capabilities of Power Pages and AI Builder. Once again, there's a lot on the list, so I couldn't mention all the points, so I highlighted the ones I thought were the most important. But throughout the course, we'll definitely cover all of the material in great detail,